animals fight for various reasons. They can do this in defense or as a way of keeping predators out of their feeding zone. Fights between the mongoose and cobra have gained popularity throughout history because of how fiercely they end. The cobra is well known for its venom, while the mongoose is respected as one of the few snake fighters existing on the earth. The mongoose is a small, carnivorous animal found in southern Europe, Asia and Africa. There are 29 species of mongoose and most of which are found in Africa. Each of these species looks different, however, all of them feature a long body, a bushy tail and short ears. Mongooses are known for their agility and fearlessness, and they can attack even the most venomous snakes. Most members of the mongoose family are solitary, living alone and usually hunting at night. Some however are quite colonial. Rarely would you see, for example, just one of the mongooses called meerkats standing alone. Instead, a whole row of these curious creatures would be standing on their hind legs, looking like 15 inches tall, furry, scraggly little men guarding the opening to their rocky dens. Mongooses live in colonies and work together to defend themselves against larger animals that may be attacking one of the groups or trying to invade their den. Some of them, especially the banded mongoose of most of sub-Saharan Africa, also hunt in packs, while looking for the beetles they like. They communicate with continuous, low-pitched calls. The banded mongoose is somewhat thicker through its striped body than most mongooses. All mongooses leave a scented trail from glands on their cheeks and around the anus. Among the solitary mongooses, a dominant male chooses the female he wants to mate with. The mother then raises the babies herself. There is usually only one young at a time, though some species produce up to four. Colony living species, however, have quite a different childcare method. The care of the offspring is the joint responsibility of all the adults, which take turns babysitting while other members of the pack are out feeding. Successful hunters bring food back to the babies and may take time to play with them before going off again. The number of litters a mongoose might have each year depends on the weather and the food supply. Although they are carnivores, most mongooses also eat plants and fruit. Most, however, prefer meat in some variety, either insects, small reptiles, or small rodents and birds. They also eat birds' eggs when available, which they break by rolling them against rocks, usually backward between their legs. Marsh mongooses of rivers in sub-Saharan Africa also break crab shells in this way. One Asian species is so adept at eating crabs that it is called the crab-eating mongoose. Atilax will also eat crocodile eggs. Mongooses that kill snakes do so by wearing out the snake. They have great agility and energy and can keep going long after the snake is worn to exhaustion. Many animals, including humans, fear the cobra for its venomous bite. A large number of cobras are found in India, Africa, Indonesia, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. The name cobra is derived from cobra de capello, a Portuguese word that means hooded snake. The number of cobra species in the world ranges between 28 and 270, based on the way the cobra is defined. These species cover all venomous snakes that fall in the Alapidae family of snakes. The snakes either have a hood or possess the ability to lift the upper part of their bodies off the ground. Cobras feature hollow fangs located on the upper jaw of their mouth. The fangs are not strong enough, and the cobra can only use them to inject venom on its prey or anything trying to attack the snake. Cobras also possess a high sense of vision and smell. Their color varies depending on the type. Common colors include black, red, and yellow, although some are patterned with several other colors. The average length of an adult cobra is 6 feet, but can get to 9 or 10 feet depending on the species. Although cobras rarely eat mongooses, the mongoose can kill and eat cobras as well as other venomous snakes. 
The venomous nature of the cobra is not enough to stop a hungry and determined mongoose. The mongoose has thick fur and some specialized receptors to make it immune to the cobra's venom. In a fight between a cobra and a mongoose, it is more likely that the mongoose will win. Many people would think that cobra will triumph in such a battle. This thought is based on the fact that the mongoose is a tiny animal and that the cobra's venom would have the same effect on the mongoose as it would have on other animals. The Indian grey mongoose, specifically, is highly immune to cobra bites. However, some mongoose species, like the ones living in the wild, may avoid the cobra since they feed on several other animals and are not used to fighting for their meals. The mongoose is not 100% immune to the cobra's venom, but there has to be a substantial amount of venom for the mongoose to die. The mongoose can only get bitten by the cobra when its leaps are inaccurate. It rarely loses the battle, since it is believed that about 8 times the amount of venom that kills a rabbit is required to cause the death of a mongoose. Out of all the fights between cobras and mongooses, the mongoose wins between 75 to 80% of the battles. The mongoose might die from eating the poison from the cobra. Several mongooses have been killed after eating a poisonous snake, and its fangs punctured their stomach lining. The cobra is one of the most venomous snakes in the world. The king cobra can grow to a length of 20 feet. However, as tiny as the mongoose is, it is still capable of rendering the cobra powerless through biting its head and neck. Most snakes avoid getting into a battle with mongooses, but will try to fight if they are cornered and cannot escape. The mongoose is so swift in its attacks, it can easily dodge cobra strikes by leaping. When it holds the cobra correctly, it can bite deep into the skull. The cobra may try to defend itself by wrapping around the mongoose. However, the mongoose will always overpower it in a matter of minutes. Apart from human beings and the mongoose, few other animals are cobra's predators. The cobra eats many other animals that are larger than the mongoose, but it can never dare to prey on the mongoose. In most cases, the mongoose does not eat the cobra after killing it. When it does, it consumes everything, including the venom sacs. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.